Hey everybody, it's been a few days since I've gotten a chance to post, and it's been busy, which is really, really good. I've had a really exciting first week here at Craig Hospital. Um, right now I'm actually sitting in my room um, on what's called a geisha chair, and it is called it is part of my bowel program, which is a really big part of the thing here at Craig. I know it sounds really kind of gross, but uh, it's really important for people with spinal injuries to basically get them to be in some sort of a regular uh, program. So I basically at every, they have, they go, without going into more detail, basically have to be in the bathroom at 7.15 every day to have that consistent time. So I'm gonna take a few minutes to kind of fill everybody in on what's happened this week. So Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Monday through Friday, basically I have nine until four o'clock every day, uh, PT schedule, OT schedule, you know, just basically like my therapies. Um, so I have physical therapy, occupational therapy, uh, speech therapy, cognitive learning therapy. I have a psychologist that I see. I have my doctors and nurses. Um, I have technology lab, which is a kind of a therapy, I guess. You're like, got to figure out how to use your phone again. Um, and I have two different exercise classes. One of them is called the functional electric stimulation bicycling. So basically they put electrical st stimulation patches on your legs to make the muscles fire so that you actually pedal the bike. Even though that I can't do that on my own, the idea is that you're teaching your legs to, to use those muscles again and then reconnecting that to your brain. So trying to get some sensory back, you know, that's a long, takes a long time uh, for that connections to be remade with the, the neurons basically between your brain and your muscles. But we're trying to keep the muscles strong and to get the muscles working again so that when they do turn when the things turn back on or when things reconnect, that the muscles are actually there. Um, doing that with arms too, which is really interesting because I do have a lot of use of my arms. I don't have uh, fingers, digits. Um, oh yeah, and you can see on my hands, I've got my, I had my nails done this weekend. Had the uh, local salon put on there. It says, yeah, it's hard to see. Keep her moving. Um, it was kind of a funny thing watching the Manitowoc Minute in the beginning. It was before I got injured, you know, something that brought levity to my life as it poked fun at Wisconsin people. But then as I got, after I'd gotten injured, uh, we used it a lot. Just kind of, we're talking about keeping my arms moving. I kept asking people to like, move my arms because, you know, they were being still. And just after I got injured, just keep moving. So that's been a really big thing for me here and, and at Craig is that, man, it, they do keep you moving and they want you to stay moving. So, I mean, for me, it's been huge what I've been able to already accomplish this first week. Um, I can't believe it's only been two weeks since my injury. Um, doing really good as far as pain. Um, they, they make me wear the neck brace more just so that I don't do anything stupid again. And... Uh, protect myself from basically like going back and forth and side to side really fast. But I have a, if I take it off, I can support my neck. It feels good. No pain. Like since they've got me into a power wheelchair, which was basically day one here, um, my neck has felt a thousand percent better. I've just been able to like get up. My head works better. My blood pressure has been coming back around. Um, and I'm just able to get around on my own around the hospital. I can get to all my classes on my own. I can go to the cafeteria and get food. I'm able to feed myself a little bit again, like I said, a little bit more every day. Got some new tools to do that. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, but in but kind of a funny story about the beginning of the week here was Monday they found... So they're really concerned about three things here. Urinary tract infections because everybody has a catheter. Um, the bowel program, like I already touched on, and making sure that everybody's actually gets some consistency so that nobody gets backed up. And then um, skin, skin, 
skin sores and things like that. So 